Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be testing out some affordable dupes for some high-end products. Um, these two I have never tried before and this I have tried so just wanted to show you it on camera. So I've got a dupe for the MAC slash artist, artist brush. Um, from eBay that was like £2. I've got a dupe for the mini beauty blenders from W7 which were about I think £3 something from Amazon and then I've got a dupe for um, probably any high-end um, primer like the, well it says camera ready so I would assume it's the Smashbox Photo Finish. Um, I have tried the Smashbox Photo Finish before but I've never tried the high-end versions of these bad boys. I just wanted to show you how they go on. So without further ado, I'm going to get going. Um, so I'm going to start with my primer. I have put on my Nivea primer already all over my face. Let me just get this mop out of my way. Um, I have been using this on my T-zone. This, um, and then kind of smoothing it out a little bit. Um, it's green, so it's supposed to help counteract redness. Um, you can see I'm quite red there. So, I mean, it does counteract it a wee bit, but I wouldn't buy it just for that. Um, I like it on my T-zone because that's where my pores are the biggest. So, I use it there. And I kind of pat it in to the areas that I feel like I need it really smooth it is really silicone now I did say whenever I bought this that I was not really into silicone primers I never really got on well with them um, I'm not even sure if it has silicone in it uh, silica yeah um, because they tend to break me out but this one I have used a few times and it hasn't broken me out so that is Obviously, great. I do have some scarring from where I did break out quite badly a while ago, so what can you do? Next, on to this brush. Now, I bought this brush thinking it would be a bit bigger, um, and I bought it for foundation. And I um, know it's quite small, but I am going to still use it for foundation. Um, you could probably use it for like blush or cream contour or whatever, but let's try it for foundation. So I'm just using my oh, open it, my Rimmel Last and Finish 25R Nude Foundation. I'm dipping it in and I'm going to start just buffing it. Now it's very strange, I have to say, because I feel like I don't have as much control as I do with a brush that goes that way, because I use it kind of like that. But I'm holding it handle like you would a toothbrush. Um, it seems to be going on pretty nicely. It's just really, it feels really, really weird. Um, you kind of have no other choice but to buff it from what I can see. Like, you could probably try and stipple it, but let's try that. Yeah, buffing is definitely the way to go with this one. I'm filming in a different room and the lights don't fit in because me and Matthew are off on holiday at the minute. When I say we're off on holiday, we're not going abroad, but we are all for a few days together. Um, and he is playing Dark Souls 3 in the living room, which I bought him for his birthday, uh, which was on the 16th. I don't know whether I'm putting this up this Sunday or the Sunday after, but the 16th, whatever day that was. I find this so strange, I keep catching the plastic on my forehead. I mean, it goes on nicely and the application's nice, it just feels really weird. And like I say, I keep catching my skin with the plastic, so I want to do that. Let's see, it is quite even. I just brush it over like that. Let me just fix my forehead up. I feel like it's weird going into my hairline with that. Maybe it's because my hair's down actually. I don't know. It's so 
look strange. Don't know, maybe if I had a bigger brush, would it be better? But, I mean, it went on pretty evenly. So, I think it just takes a bit of getting used to, if I'm honest. So, next up, I'm gonna try these little bad boys, which are the mini power puffs from W7. Um, I have a little glass of water here that I'm going to use to dampen them. Now I've never used a sponge for under my eye, but I've seen a lot of people using it. Let me just get one out. I'm only going to use one. So it is quite bouncy feeling. Obviously it will be different whenever I put my water, put it in my water. Ooh, it's so hard to, to um, film in this room because there's a weights bench there and I'm putting stuff on it and it's in a slope. Anyway, right, I'm going to dampen it. So, dampen and then you squeeze it out. I'm going to just submerge it for a wee bit longer. Right, so it's puffed up and then I'm going to squeeze it out thoroughly so that there's no excess water. Oh, and it's nice and squidgy. Yeah, I like that. So, I'm gonna put my water. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in Light Ivory. Um, I would have used porcelain, but I don't know where I've put it. So I'm just gonna put some of this under my eyes. Like so, I've got a bit dark in there. I don't know whether it's freckles, you know, from the sun. It's been a bit more sunny, but. some around my nose and just the money kind of scarring some spots not on fresh spots because thankfully I don't have any at the minute just have some redness and scarring from some old face demons right so let's go I'm gonna start under my eyes since that's where I started with my concealer and I always put on my eyelids as a primer as well I like that. The last makeup sponge I used is, was, I think, a cheaper, you know, one of those like kind of hourglass shaped ones, and it was so hard on my face. Um, if this is what a beauty blender feels like, I may actually have to invest because I really like this. Oh. Stick it in your eye, Laura. That wouldn't be nice. I'm just going to use the pointy bit up here. like that. It really just blends everything in like seamlessly and it feels nice <laughs> on my skin which is always a plus. It doesn't feel like I'm punching myself in the face like I did with my last one. And I normally use uh, my foundation brush just to blend in my concealer but this is doing a really good job. I really really like that. So let me go put the rest of my makeup on and then I'll come back and um, give you my final thoughts. So there we go, that's the rest of my makeup on, I just went for kind of a daytime look, natural, not natural but light-ish. So I thought I'd come back and let you know my final thoughts. So let's start with the start, the first thing, um, the primer. I really do like this over all other kind of silicone based primers that I've tried before which would have been Smashbox, Baby Skin, have I tried Professional? Still haven't tried Professional, but I, I like this. The, in terms of the green tint, I don't think it does an awful lot, maybe a little bit of neutralising, um, but it definitely does like fill in the pores and the lines and stuff like that, so for me it's a good plus and it's really affordable. I'll leave a link below to where you can get it and you can see the price. Um, then the next thing I tried was this little doodah. I do think it put my makeup on nicely. Um, I didn't try it for blush or anything, which I maybe should try before I do my blog post on it. So if you want to hear about that, link below. Um, I It's kind of like the hairs are coming out of it, which is annoying, but um, it, it just takes a wee bit of getting used to. So I want to play around with this a bit more. Um, before I decide whether I like it or not. So it's a bit got lipstick on my nails. Anyway, yeah, so I want to play around with this a wee bit more to see whether I 
that we like it or whether it's just a bit of a faff or a bit of a novelty. Um, a lot of people love them so I'll try it again. And then the last thing was this little doofer here. Now um, I have seen Anya Beauty, no honestly Anya, my god I'll remember that one day, and Siobhan McDonald. Um, both of them really like these, they've both done videos on them and I totally agree. Now that's it before the water and that's it after. You can see that they're it plumps up really well um, and it's just it's nice and soft and like bouncy and it really does a good job of applying concealer now if W7 would make their other makeup sponge just like this only bigger I would be very very happy but apparently it's not so what can you do um so all in all really good um affordable dupes even though I haven't tried the real thing um, I'll leave all the links below to where you can get some for yourself and that's about it really so if you have any other questions let me know in the comments if you have liked it give a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you're new bye